Hey guys, Dave here. So I thought I'd share with you all the stuff I've gotten in. I did finally finish my nightmare at 2 a.m. on Wednesday morning. So uh, finally have some free time trying to get the house back in order. I po posted a couple pics. My, uh, you can actually see my desk now. It's pretty funny. Uh, so just real quick, I'll just go through all of this stuff. There's quite a bit. I did get some knives in. Um, probably going to cover the uh, at least two of them in a separate video. But uh, first off, got me some, uh, posted some pics the other day. Got me a couple of uh, Texas flags. Um, some more morale badges here. St. Michael, protect us. This one's pretty sweet. Love the coloring on this one. Go with multicam, OD green, ACU, just about anything. That one's pretty sweet. Uh, got the uh, cheap dog, OD green with black. Uh, it also came with the uh, morale. I went, got this one, black on black with just the white cheap dog. Love that thing. Absolutely love that thing. And then I got this sweet one, uh, Jedi. That one's awesome. Love it. Same type of coloring. A little bit brighter on the green, but same type of coloring and everything with the uh, with the uh, St. Michael. And then uh, this one, I better, you know, because of all the sensitive bunnies that are out there, I better just, you guys can use your imagination. I don't want to get anybody, you know, whizzed off or anything. People get cranky enough about stupid shit as it is. So uh, I just thought I'd, uh, you guys can use your imagination. And uh, this one's awesome. Absolutely love it. So uh, yeah, so yeah, you guys can kind of figure that out where that's headed. So anyways. So those are some new badges that I got. They're pretty sweet. I uh, absolutely had to have them. And uh, I'm going to have to move because there's a lot of stuff. So I'll move this stuff out of the way. Uh, next up, I got these uh, sweet little Kiridashis from PML Knives. He's on uh, USN. Uh, you can find him. Um, PML Knives. Uh, okay, it's Paul. I don't, I don't know his last name, actually, to tell you the truth. This is actually, I have a knife from him, the Mini Tusk. And then I saw these dashies come up. This one is 3V. Asked him to uh, acid stone wash it. And uh, just a nasty little dashie, man. This thing's sweet. Comes with its own little black Kydex sheath. Works pretty well. Decent retention. Not great. It's not coming out without pulling it. It's not going to come out, period. But it does have some movement in it. But not that big a deal. But uh, still a sweet little uh, setup for. And a nasty little dashie. So I love that thing. And then this one. Just absolutely love. You guys can already kind of see the blade shape on it. This one's S30V, OD green sheath, satin finish. And this one's just nasty. Absolutely nasty. Absolutely love this thing. And I like this one so much that I told him if he was going to make more in 3V, that I would like a 3V in this blade shape acid stone wash. And he just contacted me last night and I paid and it's already on its way. So I uh, can't wait to get that one. But uh, just a nasty little Kiridashi, perfect little size, um, and I just could not be happier. And then the sheath has awesome retention on this one. Just absolutely nothing. It's not going anywhere. No movement even on this one. So tie that to keys, use it as a neck, put it in your pocket, whatever. This thing works out perfectly. So, uh, yeah, just a, two sweet little dashies I got there. And I did post pics of those the other day. Um, next up, let's see, I got a couple of snoties off of, uh, no, actually, no, sorry, the, uh, next up is I picked up another Bad Blood knife, I wanted to take a look at this, I've been thinking about ordering a, uh, Sean Kendrick, uh, custom for a while, this is the Razor Hoof, and, uh, what a sweet deal, man, for 50 bucks, it's a heck of a knife, definitely tactical, it is very heavy, uh, you know, uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, you guys can see how thick that G10 is there, Red and black G10 that's just wicked. Uh, I mean, for 50 bucks, man, this knife is pretty badass. Uh, I think it's 8CR14 MOV, I think is what it is. And uh, just could not be uh, more impressed with this knife. Not skinny stock either. Uh, it's probably, I guess, uh, maybe 532nd. No, it's, it's thicker than that. It might be 3 sixteenths. It's a tank. But uh, nasty little chisel grind. And uh, has the teeth. I think if I order mine, I might get mine without the, the teeth. I don't know. I haven't decided. But uh, what a nasty little poker, man. This thing is just nasty. So uh, definitely had to scoop that up. I was just really wanting to see size and everything else. And I could, I'm 
definitely going to try to get one from him. I have an email into him that I still haven't heard back from him. So hopefully it didn't wind up in my junk and I accidentally deleted it. But another sweet one right there. Bad blood razor hoof. So that's not going to say. So I'll just put it right there. All right, so then I got the two Snowdies. I picked these up off USN the other day. I try to pick up Snowdies whenever I see them at decent prices. These were definitely decent prices. This is the Snowdy Elite Boss. And uh, it is uh, S35EN, and it is a V-grind. It has this little mark on it. It looks like permanent marker or something. I don't know how that got on there. Don't care. Uh, other than that, the knife is really like it hadn't been used that much. And I've been using this knife actually quite a bit since I got it. Uh, and that was probably, it's been a week ago actually, I think it was a week ago yesterday. So I did pick up this Snowdy Elite Boss S35VN, pretty sweet. Nasty little swedge on top, just yeah, sick little, uh, sick little knife. Like I said, I'm picking up Snowdies every time I get a chance to grab them for a decent price. The next one came with the Snowdy Sheath, and this one's just sick. It's an older model, and this is the Bailout. Just a nasty little sick grind. Just going to do some damage with it. Very, it's tiny. I think it's only about six and a quarter inches long. It's very small. And uh, comes with the uh, Blue G10. And, uh, but still, even though this knife is very, it's just three fingers, you know, at, the, at least three of my fingers. And then, but my other finger just sits right behind it. So you still got good, really good purchase on it for such a tiny knife. And uh, even though this, uh, you know, has this, uh, you know, for better penetration, the swedge up on top, it uh, is not sharp, so you can rest your finger up on top. And, uh, and then the bottom edge is extremely sharp. So, but yeah, I could not be happier. Chisel, chisel ground. It's got the, uh, whatever, that, uh, the treatment, you know, from the heat treat. So, and then also there on the front, you guys can see. Love this little Snowdy, man. This thing is badass. And then, of course, the best part about Snowdy Sheath, this one fits in here. This one fits in here. And so it's just an awesome sheath to have. And it's uh, simple. You know, very simple. Just a little belt holster. Good, high-quality leather. Seems pretty sweet. Very nice. So I picked up both of these, man. Pretty sick, uh, sick little scores that I got there. Uh, somebody tried to get them right after me, and he was not happy that I had uh, grabbed them both. Um, so next up, I'll tell you guys that I had uh, a little accident. I got a knife in the other day. It's actually healed up pretty good. I had to put a ton of pressure. It was like pumping out the blood. It's actually, it, the knife wound up going in pretty deep. And uh, this is the uh, Shiv from uh, Dell at Dirty Room Knives. Uh, you guys know I already have the Twisted Sisters. Uh, plan on getting more stuff from Dell. And uh, here I'll get out the card and you guys can see but yeah I had a uh, it's just got a little bit of movement I can see why you had problems with the uh, kydex definitely the way the blade shaped and everything it's also you know a great great you know you just put your finger right in here and then it pops out and you're already right in it but I went to do a drop test on it and it just popped right out and of course it was my crotch or me trying to stop it with my hand and I tried to stop it with my hand and it got me pretty darn good so but anyways yeah it was uh, I would much rather protect my crotch thanks a lot because this thing is razor sharp anybody that thinks Dell's knives aren't sharp are just crazy uh, love this knife uh, acid stone washed on uh, everything but the flat the flat is satin finished and of course the schism on the back little false chisel grind and uh, just nasty uh, OD Green Camo G10 and uh, number one you guys can see right there Matt the Thor 153 got the prototype and then uh, I got number one you know how I have a fondness for number ones I think everybody does so very happy to get that DRK I think Dell said he was talking about making me a uh, the, the whatever the first uh, permanent member of the DRK something like that we were talking about that it was pretty funny so I'm certainly trying to keep him in the lifestyle he's grown accustomed to. Lanyard, pretty large, badass though. I may take it off and put it on another knife actually because it's so long. Lanyard's actually longer than the knife. There you go. But uh, got Clyde on there, pretty sweet. Absolutely love that. Uh, it's a sweet lanyard. I actually like the way that setup is. 
So, uh, but yeah, I cannot be more impressed with this knife. Another one that is just a small knife with awesome ergos on it. Uh, great little neck knife. Uh, anything. Great little utility knife. Whatever it happens to be. Like I said, razor sharp. And uh, just cannot be more impressed with, uh, with this shiv, man. This thing is badass. So, I know I posted pics on uh, Instagram and uh, a lot of people were, were liking it. So, but just absolutely sick, man. Love the shiv. So, Dell, thanks, bud. That is just awesome. Absolutely love this thing. Like I said, probably going to take that lanyard off. Probably won't even carry it with the lanyard. Might even be an awesome little pocket knife. And, uh, you know, I mean, this is something. I might send it to Andrew. I might try to see what he could come up with. I know he's kind of out of commission right now. I am already piling up a big uh, pile of work for him. But, uh, you know, either way, it doesn't matter. The sheet definitely works. And I can just slide it right down in my pocket. And it's just, you know, actually, if I was down in my pocket and I just, you know, it was the right angle, just sitting up, you could just pop it out and it could come right out of your pocket and you'd be ready to go. So, I absolutely, just a sick knife, man. Absolutely sick. Could not be uh, happier to get that. So, put the snooties up here. So, the Shiv by uh, Dirty Room Knives. Absolutely love it, man. Sick, sick, sick knife. So, that's another one. Mm. Let's see what was next. So I did get back my uh, BK2 Tough Thumbs. This thing is absolutely sick. I don't know what I'm more impressed with. Uh, I mean, obviously the knife is pretty amazing, but he made this sheath just badass, man. This sheath is wicked. Uh, very good retention. It's got a little bit of up and down, but awesome retention on it. And it does just pop right. It'll just pop right out. And uh, yeah, this sheath is awesome, man. Absolutely love it. And the Tough Thumbs logo on both sides, Tough Knives. And uh, just uh, the way he did that, you guys can kind of see painted. And he said this stuff is uh, like texture paint or something. It's not coming off of here. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping that he can kind of rework this or something. I'm going to have to send it back. The scales are a little thin for me. Uh, I do lose a little purchase on it, and uh, but this thing is just so sick, man. It is so sick. Full high convex, got the Tough Knives logo on there. It's got the uh, tough, uh, tough Knives logo on the back, or yeah, sorry, Tough Knives, the name, and then the logo on the back. Just absolutely sick, man. OD Green uh, G10 with the Enzo pattern, heavily sandblasted. Look what he did with the... This is just, I mean, this thing's just going to do some damage. Break a window, whatever you had to do. He put some awesome jimping on the back so that in reverse grip, it's just, I love this jimping. It looks like it's hyper aggressive, but he has almost, he has almost kind of like smoothed this out. And even on top, the jimping that he added on top, it's just, it's just perfect. It is really perfect. I love that jimping that he did. I talked to him this morning. And uh, just, I'm super impressed with the way that jimping came out. You guys can even see a little bit of the K-Bar logo still on there. So pretty amazing that this is a BK2. Just doesn't even look like a BK2 anymore. It's like a completely different knife. Unbelievable. But yeah, just a little skinny. Uh, I'm going to send it back. He's going to put some liners. Uh, probably just, I may do, you know, go like with the sheath and just do like tan liners or something. That'd be pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, just cannot be more impressed. Uh, added the finger choil and now with the uh, jimping right there you get just it's just really good and then you can even choke up and even if the jimping went you know all the way to here or whatever not that it needs it it doesn't but uh, I just lose a little bit of uh, of purchase uh, it's just a little too skinny for me just barely and that's why just a little bit some you know a little bit of liners on both sides and it'll just be perfect so I uh, cannot be more impressed man this thing is just sick and who doesn't love the full high convex, man? You can even see remnants there, a little bit of the BK2 that used to be on there. The top of the B and the top of the 2 right there. So uh, super sick. A little bit of, uh, you can see the Kydex right there. Not a big deal. Who cares? These knives are meant to be beat up, man. They're not meant to be all perfect and shit. So who cares? 
but uh, just unbelievable. I'm probably gonna send them like two more or something just to do the same treatment. So I do love the BK2. I think it's a one of the best knives and one of the best values in knives you can get. It's just a tank of a knife for 60, you know, 65 bucks on Amazon or something. It used to be even cheaper than that, I think. But I know they've gone up just a little bit, but just unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Could not be happier to get that, man. Could not be happier. And this sheath, I'm telling you, man, this thing's awesome. I love the uh, treatment he gave to it. Just the total package is just spectacular. So, uh, <laughs> super impressed, man. This sheath, I'm telling you, man. I, I still, I've been checking it out like almost every day. I'm like, wow, this thing is just awesome. So, uh, but yeah, that's the one thing. Just a little bit thicker. And I mean, I'm telling you, it's, you know, borderline perfection for my palm. So, uh, absolutely love this thing, but uh, could not be happier. Big ass BK2 from uh, Tough Knives. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate you, bud. Uh, next up, everybody saw I posted some pics last night of uh, two sick, sick beads that I got. Uh, the maker of these beads, you guys can see, just barely, is uh, JG, which is John Gage, G A G E. And uh, this is what's known as the Crusader bead. And these are not small beads, they are pewter. They're $40. I got them at BladeArt, bladeart.com. I already got a call in. I think I hope I beat the rush. But I got a, uh, I want to get two more. But uh, just absolutely sick. I think when I placed the order and I got one of each, I think they only had like three and two. So it may be a little bit before I get some more. But $40 pewter. I mean, for pewter, it's expensive. But you can see the detail in these. Just absolutely unbelievable. I know there are a lot of positive comments on the Crusader bead. And uh, just absolutely sick. Going to have to come up with a lanyard for uh, this one and just put it on something. Because it's just too sick a bead to uh, pass up. But uh, yeah, could not be happier to uh, get that, the Crusader bead. And then the next one I really love, and it's the Reaper bead. This thing is absolutely sick, man. It's got his little hood on there. You guys can see, pretty good diameter. You're not going to have any problem getting two strands into that. And uh, yeah, just unbelievable. You guys can see the detail in that. Just crazy. And this one was also $40. And I don't know if he put his name, if he put his initials on this one. Oh, yeah, right at the very bottom. Right. Hard to see. Hard to see. Let's see. I think it's on there somehow. Yeah, JG. Yeah, there it is. JG right there. So pretty sweet, man. But I definitely want to get more. And I uh, just cannot be happier to uh, score both of these, man. So sick. Absolutely sick. The uh, Reaper and the Crusader bead. And uh, they do come with little, like, uh, came in a plastic baggie with a little certificate of authenticity. Pewter Crusader B, John Gage. So, and then the other one, the other one came, same thing, so. And then last but not least, I have been waiting on this for a good long time. This is another thing that uh, a buddy helped me locate and track down. And uh, my favorite bad guy by far in any movie ever is definitely Hannibal Lecter and I was able to score a Hannibal Lecter bead this thing you can see he's got the mask I mean look at the detail in this it's got the straps for the mask it's just unbelievable <laughs> even has his ears and then you guys see it's got the three little things there and his slick back hair I mean it just basically the detail is unbelievable just unbelievable so I got scored this Hannibal Lecter bead, and yeah, this thing's just, yeah, it's so sick. I am not a big gold fan. I would like to get the same exact bead in silver, but I don't care. It's unbelievable. And, uh, <laughs> excuse me. And uh, so I was just, yeah, this thing is just so sick, man. Just so sick. Look at that. So I could not, uh, it was worth the wait. It's so sick. <laughs> Um, I, when he should, when he first showed it to me, I was like, I want one. I didn't even, I didn't even ask how much it was. And it was $80, uh, you know, still a lot of money for a lanyard bead. But look at the detail that goes into these. I mean, these are not, you know, inexpensive beads. And then of course, if you get into metals and everything else, this one is made with silver and brass and, uh, just unbelievable. So, 
you can see a size comparison the uh, like the reaper bead is definitely larger but at the same time the uh, the uh, lector bead you know is definitely a good size as well so you guys can see right there but the uh, reaper and their crusader are definitely larger so but this thing is just so sick I like I said I've been waiting for a while and uh, we thought maybe it had been lost and then all of a sudden one day it just shows up and I was just ecstatic I think it came like Tuesday or Wednesday night and just so sick so sick so that's everything I did get two knives in I'm gonna do a separate video on the two knives by themselves and uh, I'll probably be putting that up in the next couple days or so but uh, yeah I just uh, so happy to be done with that nasty project but two knives definitely gonna be doing another video soon Loving all this stuff that I got in. I'm going to be having another knife sale probably soon. I'm going to just sell off a couple things. Not not like, you know, big massive amount. But uh, definitely going to be some awesome things in there that, uh, you know, will be good. Uh, people I think will really like. So, uh, but anyways, that's it, guys. Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. Everybody have a good time. Um, and I'll talk to you again real soon.